Hey Carl, why don't you share that flea in the jar story that you were talking about earlier? And this is totally impromptu. It's not like we had a jar sitting already here or anything. <laughs> so uh, this is one of my favorite stories. Um, so how it goes is that if you get fleas mm -hmm. and put them in a jar, they'll, they'll jump out. Right. Right? Because they they, they're remarkable jumpers, apparently. But if you take those fleas and you put them in a jar mm -hmm. and you put the lid on, they try jumping out. I guess they hit their head on the jar lid. And in very short order, like within minutes, they teach themselves they can't jump out of the jar. You can then take the lid off the jar and those fleas who could easily jump out will sit in there and starve or, or thirst, they'll die. They'll die from lack of food and water when they could easily jump out because they have trained themselves that they can't do it. Yeah. And so, you know, hearing that, it made me think of the old thing, uh, I can't remember who it is that says this, you can't read your own label when you're inside the jar. Mm. And what that means is it's good to have, like if, like if you find yourself in your current business right now, like stuck in a jar, you're busy, you're, you're, you know, you, it just seems a little hectic right now and you know, man, I don't know which way to turn and you're trying to figure out how, how do I get out of this jar, so to speak? How do, I, how do I have a very successful mortgage business without being all stressed out all the time? Right. I see people in forums asking other loan officers in that same situation, how do I get off this and, and, and still keep a very robust growing business? And I'm thinking that, you know, they're asking the wrong people. Yeah. You know, you're, you have to ask somebody that's outside the jar. Mm -hmm. You can't ask another flea in the jar, how do we get out of here? You have to ask somebody on the outside, how'd you do that? Right. And uh, that's, uh, when I heard this story, it was a very, very powerful story for me. And I probably heard that story probably about 18 years ago, uh, give or take, 18, 17, 18 years ago now. And it made all the difference in the world. And what I found out was that I would seek, um, how I call it, wise counsel, of people that were outside the jar, that they had these things that I wanted. They had this lifestyle or, or this income or this business success, uh, and they did it in a way that I wanted to do it. Yeah. And uh, they're doing it in a, in a, while, having a, while having a good time and, and enjoying themselves and time off and having a successful business. Yep. And so you can't ask other fleas in the jar. You have to ask somebody that's outside that jar. And uh, man, I'd love to have a call with you, uh, either me or somebody on my team, uh, have a call with you to find out like what are those things that you're doing like sometimes like the, sometimes when, when we're talking with people the answer is so obvious but when you're inside the jar you just can't see it right and it's not that anybody's smarter we just have a different I can't see inside my own jar either by the way which is why I have people outside my jar to, to ask questions it's like a football uh, a football team you know they have one coach down on the field mm -hmm. but they have at least one more at the top of the stadium looking down because they see the whole field or in NASCAR you have the driver in the car but he doesn't go by what he sees he has what's called a spotter yep. that's literally about a half a mile away wow. up in the stands you know about probably 300 literally 300 400 feet up with a radio and a set of binoculars because he can see the he or she can see the whole track and help guide the the driver around the track because he can only see the car in front the car behind he can't see what's right what's ahead or what's behind catching up with him yeah looking at and the bigger picture looking at the bigger picture yeah. and uh so um so yeah so uh, what we'd like to do uh if you're interested is uh we'll schedule a call uh, you'll tell us a little bit, there, there's a link on this page, and how it works is you'll tell us a little bit about your business, what you're doing, uh, what's working for you, do you have a team, do you not have a team, loan officer, branch manager, uh, district manager, company owner, and uh, so we can best prepare for that call, and we'll do a one-on-one -on -one call with you and, uh, and, and show you the things that we see talking with literally thousands of loan officers across the nation, right. I'd say like on a weekly basis, <laughs> yeah. and uh, about how do you get outside that jar? And, and we've trained ourselves, see we've trained ourselves into thinking 
but if I want to make more money, if I want to be more successful, I'm going to have more headaches and I'm going to work more hours. And that is not the truth. Mm -hmm. That is absolutely not the truth. Uh, the loan officers that you and I know, uh, including loan officers in my own branch, I'm a, as I'm a branch manager, uh, the most successful ones uh, have the evenings and weekends off because they're able to recharge their batteries. So uh, I'm thinking of Suzanne Downs. Yeah. So Suzanne Downs, uh, mortgage broker uh, down in the Fort Lauderdale area. Mm -hmm. And uh, this lady is knocking out of the park. I'm, I'm one of our biggest, hugest fans. She's one of the leaders in our Freedom Club. And I was just talking with her this morning. Her name just popped in my head. And um, I guarantee she's outside the jar. Yep. You know, she goes on at least a vacation like once a month, like literally. <laughs> yeah. And has a thriving business that very few loan officers have. So anyway, click on the link. Tell us a little bit about yourself so we can prepare for the call. And, uh, and we'll take a look, no charge. We'll take a look to see what you're doing and look for ways that we can help you. And uh, uh, we'll, we'll map out a plan for you. And if you decide to, you know, decide to take that plan and do it on your own, totally cool. Uh, if you'd like, to help, like us to help you implement that plan, you know, once we work it out together, well, we can talk about how that works either, but either way is totally cool. So uh, yeah, don't ask other fleas in the jar. Ask somebody outside the jar. So Insightful that's stuff. that's my fleas in the jar story. <laughs> I so. like that story. I like that story too. Thanks so for yeah. Hey, looking forward to talking to you.